Hi, everybody. This is James Tompkins, and welcome to What is the Purpose of Any Time Value of Money Formula? An Understanding Finance Nugget. So, why even bother measuring value? Why have a model for measuring value? Well, if you're going to manage value, does it help to be able to measure value? It does, right? I mean, so for example, suppose you go on a diet. What's a really useful instrument to have if you go on a diet? A scale, right? Because not only can you figure out whether your diet is working, you know, you're gaining weight or losing weight, but you can even find out how much you're gaining or how much you're losing, so you can see how effective it is. Now, suppose I said to you, all right, hey, you guys, you, you look like just a nice group of people, okay? And so I'm going to give you $1,000 each and every one of you, $1,000. Now, would that be happy face or sad face or, or what? Well, presumably that'd be happy face, right? I mean, hey, 1000 bucks, you know. Now, what could I add to that that would change that happy face into sad face? No, no conditions. It is a gift. You're not borrowing it. Well, I could say... I'm going to give it to you my will, right? And I'm going to live a long time. So what that illustrates is that, you know, when you're talking about money, it's not good enough just to say how much, like $1,000. But you also, it also matters as to when that $1,000 is going to happen. I mean, you know, if nothing else, I mean, it illustrates that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow because if nothing else, what could you do with the money if you got it today for 1000 bucks? put it in a bank, right? And if it's in a bank, at least it's earning interest. So that brings us to the question, well, what will any time value money equation do for you? Well, basically, it'll provide any value in different time periods. So for example, this is an example of a cash flow timeline diagram. Okay, here, here are the, these things down here, they represent time periods. How, how long are these time periods? be anything, right? They could be anything you want them to be. They could be one-year time periods. They could be six-month time periods. What is time zero? Well, it, it may or may not be today. It typically is today. But again, it can be anything you want it to be. But what will any time value money equation do for you? Well, it'll take $10 and put it the equivalent amount anywhere along the timeline. So for example, at time three, you know, maybe the $10 has grown into $11. Okay. So so the, the bottom line is what any time value of money formula does for you is it puts equivalent amounts in different time periods. Anyway, this has been a Understanding Finance Nugget, and I hope it was helpful. Take care.